Hello, it is Direct Mail, Monday, October 14th, 2024. Steve Cypress here, and I received this in the mail. Haven't opened it yet, and uh, still, I am about 97% certain that the letter in this envelope is complete crap. And that's even before the days where AI came out and people make the mistake of having AI just write their stuff for them. Uh, AI is good for research, for strategy, for ideas, for crunching data, for coming up with drafts and outlines. Hopefully you know by now and hopefully you haven't learned the hard way. It's not good unless you use the right AI tools. There, there are actually <clears throat> AI tools that real sharp copywriters and marketers have put together. We're just using something like ChatGPT or Claude or Copilot, like it's a bunch of crap. And getting this letter reminded me of the days, you know, decades now, way before AI came along, where local real estate agents, financial advisors, in this case, insurance agents, get marketing materials from head office that are almost always complete crap. And I'm guessing sight unseen haven't opened yet. We're going to open it here. That this is an example of that. This is from Liberty Mutual, the ones you see on the tee with. TV with Limu, the emo, Liberty Mutual, and one telltale sign right away. It is sent from Boston, Massachusetts to here in Arizona, and it's addressed to my mom who's been deceased about, I don't know exactly, five, six, seven years. Uh, as the executive of her state, I get her mail. I don't, nothing comes anymore other than junk mail. And again, I predict this is junk mail. So let's open it up. Got my handy dandy rhino letter opener like you see rhino behind me there's rhinos all over the place here rhino being the symbol of the entrepreneur if you want to know why you can go to my daily blog i've been running for about 10 years called rhinodaily.com and you can click there and see why the rhino is the symbol of the entrepreneur so let's open this up i can already tell it's crap for a number of reasons hopefully you don't do this it's sent in a plain business size envelope with a window with a pre-sorted standard indicia no live stamp nothing that looks like an actual letter from an actual person it looks very corporate -y and very industrial and usually it's written that way also and sure enough i'm guessing there's nothing on the back oh it does i guess wrong there and actually it's looking a little better than the crap i'm used to getting from these uh these big corporations that have their their agents, they usually uh, hype it up. If you've been a real estate agent or financial advisor, insurance agent, anything working for a big company, one of the things they tell you is, uh, hey, we provide you with marketing materials. Like that's a benefit and you've got to chip in. You pay some money every month for the to participate in their marketing. You know, we back you up with TV commercials and website and, you know, marketing materials. Like, but uh, let's see. Lynn. Yeah, it's addressed to my mom. We're here to save you hundreds with customized insurance switch and you could save $950. That's pretty standard, right? I mean, I think we get that from every insurance carrier. It's based on nothing, obviously, because my mom doesn't have insurance, doesn't have a car, doesn't have anything because she passed away years and years and years ago. So she can't switch. They can't save them. So if anything was a telltale sign, this is total BS. I remember once in a while I'll I'll call or I'll answer and I'll go, gee, you're saying I could save X amount. What's that based on? And I'm sure, uh, you know, I can tell they rehearsed. They got an answer to that question. It's not like they're dumbfounded going, uh, well, you see, uh, that's BS. We just kind of made that up till we get your call. Uh, they say something like, well, that depends. Uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, what insurance do you have now? And really they try and get right into it. And, you know, it's, it's like politicians in debate or in an interview, right? They just, they'll spin, they call it, they'll, which I just call BS. They just spin the question. They don't answer it. They deflect. They answer something else. But, you know, uh, here are some of the ways your savings could add up. If you switch, if you bundle your car in your home, if you're a safe driver, everyone knows all this stuff. So this is pretty bad. And the call to action is just call for a free quote. That's pretty bad too. 
Liberty Mutual, this is nonsense. They customize your insurance so you only pay for what you need. Nonsense. Every insurance agency, of course, customizes your insurance. You only pay for what you want. No one pays for what they need. No one buys what they need. So there's a lesson right there. We'll leave it at that. No one buys what they need. Don't ever try and make a mistake they are and sell someone something they need. Now you can say, but Steve, everyone needs car insurance if you have a car. Again, first of all, not everyone, right? My mom does need car insurance. Uh, but even everyone has does have a car. Lots of people choose to drive with no insurance. And they get in an accident. And especially here in Arizona, we got all kinds of you know, undocumented illegal aliens, whatever you want to call it, that don't have licenses and don't have insurance, and they're making that choice. They're like, hey, the other, if the other car is insured, they'll have, what do they call non-insured driver coverage or whatever it is. Like, lots of people choose not to drive with insurance, even though it's technically illegal. Lots of people do lots of illegal things, even though it's illegal. Last I checked, people still take drugs and rob banks and speed in their cars and drive without insurance so you know there's nonsense that you need it nobody needs it and if you sell what people need let's say you sell food pretty much the only food you're ever going to sell is water broccoli things like that right you know any restaurant worth anything has to sell what people want McDonald's sells what people want there's nothing McDonald's or anyone needs again other than water but nobody needs greasy burgers. Nobody needs, you know, heaps of unhealthy stuff. But that's what people want. So there's a big lesson there. You got to sell what people want, not what you think they need. They won't buy what they need. When's the last time you saw a TV commercial for broccoli or a big billboard for broccoli? People don't, don't buy what they need. They know their body needs broccoli, but they want to buy alcohol. And they want to buy fast food. And they want to buy desserts and candy bars and ice cream what do people buy what they want anyway so at least it's better than the last time I looked at one of these they're using the front and back they've got some bold here um, however it's uh, overall obviously could be made a million times better the one glaring thing that's missing here is anything about an individual agent who usually there's sometimes there's a name of an individual agent on here and it's sent out in his or her name but there's nothing about why they love being an insurance agent why they care about you and how they got in, in the business and any testimonials from any happy people that they've served over the years there's no testimonials there's nothing from anybody who's happy or satisfied with this company or these reps or anybody uh, you could do a million times better including using AI so even using AI poorly, you could do better than this. But using the right AI tools in the right way, you can do a thousand times better than this. So that's what I hope you do. And if you want help with that, go. That's what I do. Go to my help site, AI, my website, AIGrowthWizards.com, and I'll point you in the right direction of fantastic AI tools to use. And the most powerful thing is which tools to use together to get results like faster, easier, better, faster, cheaper than you ever have before. The world of AI is upon us, and just about everybody you'll probably include it has messed around with it in one way or another, but you might be realizing it's time to get real serious using it. It's not just about logging into chat GPT and having them put something out. There's a whole bunch of great AI tools out there, and the real power is chaining them together, knowing which tools work best together, and in what order, and in what way, so they can save you, they can save your, save your team a ton of time, a ton of busy work, have you doing much higher level stuff, have a lot more fun, make a lot more money. Go to AIGrowthWizards.com and I'll help you do just that. And that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, October 14th, 24, 2024. Let's go Mets. And let's follow it up there. 9 nothing shellacking loss yesterday in Game 1 to the Dodgers with a dominating 7-3 to win today in Game 2, which means... They get to go back home to New York where they can wrap up the National League Championship and go to the World Series. So that next game will be in New York on Wednesday, and I'll be back wearing some more ridiculous New York Mets gear. So let's go Mets, and I'll catch you tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Until then, over and out. Bye-bye.